hello guys and welcome back so in this video we will be fixing two issues with our game so the first issue is that when we perform this climbing up parkour action and if you hold down the w key you will notice that there is a slide in our animation as you noticed okay there is this sliding if you notice okay and the second issue is with our wall jump when we perform wall jump the player as you know stays in the air for a while so we need to fix these two issues so for that open up the new parkour action script okay and after this look at obstacle we will create a new serialized field it will be of type float and let's name this as parkour action delay okay then let's create a reference for this parkour action delay right down below after this so we will say public float let's name this as parkour action delay as well but the p will be capital and this will be equals to the parkour action delay which we created up there then on our parkour control script right here before giving control to the player now right here we want to add some delay and that delay will be the parkour action delay value so we will say yield return new okay and then we will say wait for seconds and then we will type action dot parkour action delay and the reason we created a separate float for our parkour action delay is because we have a lot of parkour action and not all of the parkour action requires a delay so that's why we right here didn't type the value directly for example we want to wait for 0 0.5 seconds before uh, i mean after playing the climbing parkour action okay so that's why we created this parkour action delay and now if i show you the parkour actions right here click on climbing up now as you know that we have this parkour action delay right here and now we can add delay to a specific parkour action now right here we just want to add the parkour action delay to our climbing up so we will add a delay of 0.5 seconds so if we click right there and add 0.5 okay so now after playing the climbing up parkour action it will wait for 0.5 second before going back into the basic locomotion and giving back the control to the player okay so now just simply play the game and right here if we now perform our parkour action as you can see now after 0.5 seconds the player start walking let me show it to you guys again as you know right here 0.5 seconds and after that the player start walking again okay so in this way you can add parkour action delay to your own parkour actions now let's fix the second issue for the second issue if we check the animator right here if we open up this transition okay and if we play this transition as you know that while playing this animation there is this cape okay we don't want to play this whole cape right here okay if you notice the parkour controller script right here as you know that we wait for the whole length of the animation and we basically don't want that for all of the parkour action animations so what we're gonna do is after this if condition which is action dot allow target matching after this we will add another if condition and in this one we will say animator dot is in transition okay then right here we will pass zero and then we will say if the timer counter is greater than 0 0.5 then what we want to do is we will simply say break that is it if we save the script and get back to unity and let's play the game but guys before let's playing the game let me stop the game change back to scene view right here make sure that you make the collider of this down to the ground since our ray will be coming from the player feeds so as you know there is this gap and the ray will not be able to catch this okay so make sure that you move this collider down to the ground like this okay 
and then what I want you to do is click on the player and make the player height to 1.9 if your height was 2 of the character controller then make it 1.9 and then play the game now let's go ahead and test it out okay now let's test this one now as you can see the player doesn't stay in the air that much longer as you can see the player simply gets down to the ground immediately okay let's test it out again as you can see the player doesn't stay in the air that longer now okay so in this way you can fix this issue as well so with now both of the issues fixed in the next video we will be adding the other vault actions as well